Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn that how we can upload a file with the API in Laravel. So these are the steps that we need to perform. First of all, we need at least one controller and one router. We will make a controller and set up the route for it. And after that, we will set up the postman that uh, what kind of request we need to send and what data we need to send. And uh, after that, we will write some code to upload this file and uh, then we will test that uh, how we can test this api and check that the file is uploaded or not and at the last i will ask you a question and you can attempt this question in the comment box also now let's uh, start with the uh, creating a controller and set up the route so let's open a command line and just write here php artisan make controller and controller name so let's say my controller name is file controller And hit enter so now you can see that this controller is created inside the app http controllers and here right and let's make a function inside it so let's say my function name is upload and for a moment i am just going to return here let's say result and it should be an error uh, array so that uh, we can just return a json format in the api and uh, just write here result pass or something whatever you want for a dummy purpose right and uh, now let's set up a route for it for that let's jump in the api.php and import this file just write here use app http controllers and then file controller right and now let's uh, create the path for it and uh, just write here route and we will use the post method here because we are actually posting some data right when we just get the data then we need the get uh, route and upload is my route name then we will take an array inside array i am putting my file name uh, controller name and the second value of this array let's upload write upload and this second parameter belongs to the function name inside the controller right now let's uh, end up with the semicolon everything is right so now let's test it is it working fine or not so just select the post method here and just uh, go for uh, api and upload route hit the enter we can just successfully check that uh, the route is working fine with the controller right so now uh, we want to just upload an image for that let's uh, send an image from here uh, so that let's uh, just select the body and uh, just select here file type and it can be any file and you can just put a file name like xyz whatever you want i'm just going to put a file name as in file for a moment and select any file let's say i just want to upload this electron file and before sending it let's uh, let me just write some code first of all let's take a request and this request will be type of request right uh, sorry right and now just simply take the variable result and we will just uh, simply write here dollar request R E Q and uh, file like uh, when we are just getting the data from any input type then we just write here input now we will select the file and we can just simply write here a file because we put this file name here file so if i have a name like xyz here then i will just put here xyz but for a moment let's take a file and now let's use a store function to store it and uh, in the store function we will put a folder name so let's say my folder name is api docs or something right and uh, now just pass this result inside a result array now let's check i think everything should be fine and here you can see that we got a api docs and the data is here right so now you will just check it out inside the uh, uh, okay so let me just uh, go on the top of this folder this is my laravel folder just go in the storage app and api docs here you can ch check that our file so 
so there is already lots of files so maybe we they can be confused to us so let's completely delete with the folder name so if we don't have any folder then uh, this function store function will be create this folder also so now let's uh, hit it again and now let's check we got uh, api docs again and this is our file right so now let's try to upload some another file um just check any file randomly and just save it and let's check it out we got this file here right so that's all for this video and if you are looking for that how we can save the image or how, how we can upload the image in the database then i want to tell you that uh, uploading the image inside the database is not a good practice right we always need to up, uh, upload this file inside the laravel and if we just need to save it inside the database then you can just save this path right save this path to the database because every image have the different path right and when we just want to display this image then just put this path in the image tag and we are able to get the image right so that's all for our video and uh, it's time to question okay so now you can see that we just got the, uh, saved this data inside the storage folder then app and then api docs so can we uh, save this file outside the storage folder right or outside this app folder right so if this is possible then comment this answer with the reason and if not possible then still comment uh, with the answer right and uh, please subscribe my channel and like this video so that you can continue get the more laravel videos and uh, bye bye god bless you